Hi, my name is Renee Thompson and I'm the owner of RT Connections. Welcome back to my two minute tips for nurses. Now these tips are really designed for the student nurse and the new graduate nurse. However, all nurses can benefit. Today's two minute tip is about bullying in nursing. New nurses fear two things when they start their first job. One, harming a patient. Two, that the nurses will be mean to them or eat them alive. Bullying in nursing is such a huge problem. It's destructive, it's pervasive, and it really has no place in a profession that's supposed to be caring and compassionate. But there are some steps that you can take to decrease your chances of becoming a victim of bullying or to bully-proof yourself. So one step you can take is to recognize the behavior as bullying. Now there are two categories of bullying behavior, overt and her ugly stepsister, covert. Overt behaviors are the ones that you can see. Somebody openly criticizing another nurse, yelling at another nurse in front of everybody, um, doing the eye rolling in front of another nurse, uh, or calling a, a nurse a baby nurse. Oh, the little baby nurses. That's overt uh, behaviors. Covert are a little bit more subtle. It's the gossiping, the backstabbing, a nurse that's unapproachable, uh, that you don't want to ask for help because you're afraid of her. That's covert behavior. Covert can be a little bit more destructive because you don't always recognize it's happening. It's the eye rolling after you turn around so that you don't see that it's happening. Those are covert behaviors. So a huge step in being able to decrease your chances of becoming a victim is to recognize the behaviors as bullying. Now I will tell you it takes moral courage to stop accepting these behaviors as normal and to stop it, it, it starts with you. However, I want you to remember this when you're out there. You deserve to work in an environment that's supportive and nurturing, especially if you're a new nurse. You should not be in an environment where you're being bullied by other nurses. So stay tuned for step number two. That'll be coming up in a couple of weeks. And for more tips and articles from me, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow my blog, and of course my YouTube videos. Thanks, take care, and stay connected.